Now that our process is deployed, let's discuss how to run it on a schedule. It's important for you to understand that deploying a process does not execute the process into an active production state. After deploying the process, it must be executed one of two ways, by a manual execution using Manage Process Reporting, or by applying it to a schedule using Manage and Atom Management. Think of a deployed process as putting a plane on the runway. It hasn't taken off yet, but it's waiting for the OK to start the flight. Process schedules allow for the permission to take off by applying an automation of an integration. In class, we will take our deployed account XML to CSV and place it on a schedule. Schedules allow for automation of integration down to a minimum of one minute intervals. We're going to place our process on a 10 minute schedule. This feature is accessible via Manage Atom Management tab and is implemented after the deployed process. There are two ways to automate a process. The two most common are internal scheduling and real-time management. Internal scheduling, the schedule indicates when the process will run. Schedules are created down to one minute intervals and advanced schedules are created to execute on specific minutes. You also can create a retry schedule to show when failed documents are retried. A more real-time automation approach is to enable real-time integration. This is discussed in the Integration Developer track. This supports event-driven integration via web service publishing using HTTP and SOAP or the AS2 shared server. The AS2 shared server is a listen-only connector which accepts AS2 requests in real-time and it initiates Atomsphere EDI processes. This creates a new execution thread for each push from a client application. A retry is added to a process to automatically rerun any failed documents during the scheduled process execution. If you set up a retry schedule, you do not need to manually check and return the failed documents on the Atoms deployed process panel. Retry schedules are added the same way you add a process execution. There's just an extra option setting for the greatest number of retry attempts. For retried executions, it will check for failed executions and documents associated with these executions. For each failed execution found, the execution, the retry execution, is created containing all of the failed documents. If all documents complete successfully after the process is retried, then no retries are executed. However, if failed documents continue, then these documents are retried until they are successful or until the largest number of retries is reached during the process execution. For retried executions, the icon links to the original process execution. For many failed process executions, a separate retry execution for each original execution and not a single retry execution containing all the failed documents up for all the execution. This allows for tracking back to the original execution. If a retry execution is successful, the retry does not change the original execution. For green, it will stay red. Once deployed, a retry execution attempts to return failed documents even for those from past executions. If your process is deployed to the Dell Boomi Atom Cloud, you want to prevent the execution from retrying all documents. So please contact our Dell Boomi support for help. You can use advanced syntax to create a schedule to run periodically at certain dates and times. To access the advanced mode, you can select it from the type dropdown. Placing an asterisk in a field indicates a schedule would run every minute, hour, day of the week, day of the month, month, or year. Hyphens are used to specify ranges of values, and commas are used as delimiters between value ranges. The time specification of the range, whether it be years, months, days of the month, or week, hours, or minutes, can optionally be followed by a slash and an interval unit of time. Reading this advanced schedule on this slide, it will run every 15 minutes from noon to 4 p.m. on Tuesday and Thursday for all days of the month, all months of the year, and all years. 
we're going to do exercise number 10, we're going to schedule a process. And this is in your book on page 35 to 37. To schedule our process, we're going to go to Manage, Atom Management. We're going to select the Atom Cloud. And under Runtime, we have our deployed processes. So we'll select that. We have two account XML to CSVs. We have one from Boomi Essentials, and we have one from our class. We're going to be focusing, of course, on the one from our class. We're going to click on the drop down. Here we can execute a process manually. We can stop a schedule. We are going to click on Edit Schedule and Create a Schedule. We click the Add button. When we select the Add button, we have the choice over here of selecting the type. The types are minute, hour, day, and advance. Advance will take you into the advanced scheduling tool that we discussed in the slides. We're going to be working with minute. We want the start time to be midnight. We're just going to make it zero, zero. And we want it to run 24 hours a day. So we'll go to 23.59. We're going to have it run every 10 minutes. And we want it to run five days a week. We want it to run five days a week, Monday through Friday. Now, if you're taking this and you're doing these videos on the weekend, a Saturday and Sunday, you're probably going to want to click on these um, if you would like. The book only has you doing Monday through Friday, but you can uh, click on those if you're working on a weekend. We want to click on the retry tab. We're going to add a retry. The maximum number of retries are going to be two. We're going to set the type to hour. We're going to have this run 24 hours a day. Once again, it's Monday through Friday. If you're working on a weekend, you'll probably want to turn this on. And the interval is going to be one. Once I do that, I click on OK. And it will deploy my schedule. Now it says schedule saved. The time zone schedule depends on what public cloud you're using. For example, USA East Integration Cloud will use the East Coast system time. All locally installed atoms will use the system time where the atom resides. Now it's your turn to do exercise 10 to schedule a process. When you have completed, we're going to come back and talk about process reporting.